Mining has played a critical role in the U.S. economy for more than 100 years, providing jobs and contributing to the economic growth of communities and our country. The mine in Kings Mountain played this role for more than 50 years, and it's our hope that Kings Mountain can once again play a crucial role in helping the United States compete globally in the new energy economy. But what's actually involved in building and operating a mine? Let's find out. The first phase focuses on exploration to identify a particular mineral resource. Our mine in Kings Mountain would be considered a brownfield site since it has operated before, and the existence of mineral resources, in this case lithium, have been previously identified. Information can be drawn from historical geological data, rock and soil sampling, and advanced technology such as aerial surveys. These assist in determining if the project should proceed to the next phase, known as advanced exploration. This phase includes core drilling to gather small samples to verify and analyze mineral deposits. In our case, geologists review the core samples to measure how much lithium and other minerals are in the rock. If initial core drilling results are positive, additional drilling often takes place to ensure the mineral resource is economically viable to mine. In the case of Kings Mountain, we have undertaken an extensive core drilling program over several years to confirm the location and quality of the ore that contains the lithium we hope to extract and process. If a project moves into development, a series of thorough studies are undertaken to assess the mine's environmental, social, and economic impacts. This includes addressing how to completely eliminate or greatly reduce possible impacts on the surrounding environment and communities. Special attention is paid to groundwater and surface water systems, dust, noise, wildlife, and traffic. After completing all the studies, the project can proceed to federal, state, and local permitting processes. This step involves collecting input from community members, local businesses, indigenous groups, non-governmental organizations, and other agencies interested in the project. Once all permits are obtained, the project can be turned over to the construction team. If we receive approval to proceed, we anticipate the Kings Mountain Mine to employ over 300 in high-paying roles, with hundreds of additional jobs in the construction phase. The team must build all the facilities to support the mine, including maintenance workshops, electrical power stations, roadways, water treatment plants, crushing and processing buildings, and other infrastructure to support operation. It can take a few years to prepare the mine for operation. For the Kings Mountain Mine, we will need to remove the water that has accumulated in the quarry over the years along with any waste rock. Once the ore-bearing rock is extracted, it is further processed in what we call our concentrator operations where the lithium is separated from the rock, then sent to be converted into materials that will help power electric vehicles, provide energy storage for the power grid, and a wide range of other applications to help us create a more sustainable world. The final stage is mine closure and rehabilitation or reclamation. A critical part of this process actually occurs earlier in the life of the mine when the community determines future use of the site. This could range from a natural area and nature trails, like what was done with the closure of the previous mine, to a recreational area. There will be ongoing environmental monitoring and maintenance activities that will continue long after the closure phase had been completed. These are linked to the permitting approval process to ensure that the plans will be adhered to for the benefit of future generations.